Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Irma. Today's video, I'm going to share with you how I'm going to add a little bit of touch of Halloween here to our home. It's more of a PG rated style Halloween since I'm not a very big fan on spooky stuff. So I hope this video motivates you guys and gives you guys ideas on how to simply bring a little bit of touches of Halloween to your home. As you can tell, I'm going to go ahead and start off here in our bar cart. I removed what I previously had for my fall decor and I'm going to bring in this gutier tray. But I wanted to use my lamp here, but as you can tell, it wasn't working out. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly remove it and then just style the cure tray with some Halloween related decor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and continue. So today's video is also in a collaboration with my friend Atoya from That Family 5 over on YouTube. So thank you so much Atoya for collaborating with me for today's video. And also friends, once you guys are done watching my video, don't forget to check out the description box. I will have Atoya's channel linked down there for you guys. So it's just easily, you just click and go on over and support her channel as well. But I want to take this moment to say if you guys are new over here on my channel or are coming from Atoya's channel, I just want to go ahead and extend a warm welcoming to all of those and just introduce myself a little bit more. So yeah, my name is Irma and I am a married stay-at-home mother of four. I've been married to my husband now for 16 years and we have two girls and two boys. We live here in California. Over here on my channel, I like to share cleaning videos and home decorating decor videos in hopes to inspire and motivate you guys each time you guys visit one of my videos. If it's something you guys are interested in and would like to see more of, I invite you guys to go ahead and check out more of my videos or more of my decorating videos. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video and you don't miss out. So we're going to go ahead and quickly finish here. As you can tell, I'm just adding some bats here since we're already done pretty much with with our tear tray and we're gonna go ahead and finish decorating the rest of the bar cart. So for this pumpkin that I have here in the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and quickly just add these eyeballs here that I got from Costco. They're actually the white chocolate hot cocoa bombs. Um, my kids are honestly were not big fans of it. So we finished the ones I added here, but they did not enjoy it. So definitely, I don't know if your kids are not fans of white, hot, white chocolate, um, probably not going to be the best ones for them. But I'm going to go ahead and turn over these Ray Dunn mugs I have here on the top. You can tell I... Wrote on the other side last year some little hocus pocus words on there with my Cricut machine. Just an easy way to switch up those mugs. And then I'm also going to add these mugs that I purchased last year from the 99 cent store. And for my decor, I did not purchase anything new this year besides the hot cocoa bombs, which were not a success here in our home but with that I'm gonna go ahead and quickly move on over to my kitchen now just quickly added some little skeleton hands inside that vase and added this um, tiered uh, pumpkins and then for my witch's brew I did what everybody is doing over on Instagram I know you guys have seen it and I just think it looks so cute so what I did was I just added diffuser inside of this um, 
container that I have and I wrote witches brew on it last year perfect size and looks so cute to switch out my Dutch oven always displayed on my stove but I thought I'd just have this displaying on my stove for that little hocus pocus witchy vibe over here And for a little more special touch of Halloween, I just quickly added these orange lights behind this vase and the display I have here just for that one more touch during the nighttime. And now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the top part of my cabinets. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this creepy cloth and just hang it over or like kind of drape it over here on one of my cabinet doors and I feel that just brings a whole different vibe to the kitchen and I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing over on the other side. So for a little more extra touch of Halloween to our kitchen, I'm just going to finish it off with placing these little bats here on my backsplash. So what I did was I had purchased last year some rings, like the pack that comes at Dollar Tree. There's like 50 of them in a pack and I just cut off the back part like what was the ring part. And then I just put some sticky dots on there and placed them here on our backsplash just like if they're flying everywhere. But let me know if you spot out my little magic helper in today's video. So I want to quickly take the moment to thank all of us for sponsoring this portion of today's video. As you can tell here, I'm going to go ahead and quickly unbox this light for you guys. I'm going to switch out the lighting in our kitchen. When we purchased the house, it was a total different light. But one day I decided to take off the cover part to wash it and suddenly it broke. So we had to switch out the light and I found on Facebook Marketplace a free one. So to save us some money, I just went ahead and applied that one. But it was definitely not a kitchen light. So I am so glad that this company reached out to me to send me one of their light fixtures to try out for you guys. I love that it has the settings that it gives you different um, brightness or warmth from the bright white all the way to the warmest setting that you can have depending on your vibe. So we're going to go ahead and have my husband quickly install that here for you guys. Here are our old light fixture that I had mentioned previously that we had. Definitely not something that belongs in the kitchen. This reminds me of something more for like a hallway or something, but not the kitchen. So he went ahead and started off by removing our old light fixture, including all of the base that it had and disconnecting all of the wires. And then after he finishes doing that, he actually had to trim a little bit our wires for the new light fixture, which was nothing hard or difficult to do. Then he's just going to go ahead and apply the base for the new light fixture. You guys can see it's a way different one. 
Um, so definitely the one we previously had was not going to work with dips and the good thing is that every light fixture that you're going to purchase is going to come with that. Here he's starting to go ahead and add all of the wiring so you just go ahead and connect them by the color so the black one with the black one and so on and then we are going to go ahead and start screwing the light fixture on. So this new light fixture does not use any bulbs as you guys can tell. It is an LED light which also makes the light so much brighter but like I mentioned it comes in different settings and I will share those with you guys as well so you guys can see the different settings. Um, but it's just so perfect because it's like sometimes I'm in the mood for a very bright white light and sometimes I'm in the mood for something more warm and calming but I will have everything for you guys linked down in the description box as well if you guys are interested in getting your hands on one of these. There you see my hand helping my husband screw this quickly in but we're going to go ahead and now move on to finishing up our decorating for Halloween. I'm going to go ahead and start over here and our living room now so I have to go ahead and start with the spider web because Jayla likes the spider webby vibe over here so we're just gonna go ahead and try and drape some around the TV area I don't know spider webs and me is not like we it's a struggle for me so if you guys do spider webs let me know how your experience is with that but as you can tell the only way to get more of that Halloween vibe in is by watching something Halloween. So I'm actually watching Halloween Town. But let me know what shows do you guys like watching during the Halloween season. I also like watching Hocus Pocus and I am so extremely excited that Hocus Pocus 2 is finally out. Let me know if you guys already watched it. quickly gonna make a little display vignette here using the creepy cloth and some more of those potion bottles and of course some greenery and some pumpkins here just for a little bit more of a Halloween vibe towards the TV area and I'm gonna finish it off with a orange hocus pocus book. For the sofa side, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly fix up the sofa, the pillows, put the blanket on, well, kind of throw the blanket on correctly. And at the end, I did actually add bats to this side, but I did not share that with you guys because adding those bats is just so, so time consuming. But we're going to go ahead and move on quickly here to our entryway. I did this last year and we really enjoyed it. So here you see me just hopping in and hanging up those witch hats that I got off of Amazon. They're just normal little paper witch hats, nothing famous about them. But after that is now up and running, we're gonna go ahead and use some more creepy cloth here for this peg rail that I have here. And I'm just gonna add this Hello My Pretty sign that's from Dollar Tree. And then these brooms are the cinnamon stick brooms that I purchased last fall for my fall decor but I just think they work perfect for our Halloween theme for witches so we're gonna go ahead and hang three of them up here So we're almost done and I'm just gonna go add some little touches of Halloween to my front porch as you can see I switched out the little mat that I had there and I'm gonna put this trick-or-treat sign but then I remembered I had some hay barrels that I had purchased at Hobby Lobby recently so I'm gonna go ahead and add that here and it's the first year I'm gonna use them so let's see how this goes one of them I actually removed from the plastic but when I saw the mess it made the one closer to the door and on the mat I actually left it in the plastic so it still doesn't look bad but 
I'm going to go ahead and add another Happy Halloween sign here. And then on for our door, you can see I have a, this little, like, it's like a door hanger witch feet. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to our normal little bell that we have there for um, our fall decor. And then at the end, I added some bats to our door and our door wreath just to bring in more of that Halloween vibe over here. But I'm going to go ahead and start sharing all of the afters with you guys once again. Don't forget to go check out Atoya's channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope this video gave you guys ideas and motivation if you guys are in need for that. Also too, don't forget to check out the light fixture if you guys want one of those or want to see more about that light fixture. So I'm just going to go ahead and share a little Halloween tour with you guys starting here on our front porch. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video and i hope to see you on the next one bye guys